What's a healthy marriage? What is a healthy marriage is a very good question. And I think if you would ask me that 15 years ago, I would have had to say to you, I'm not really sure. But at this point in 2009, I think we really know what a healthy marriage is. And we know because of all the research in the last 15 years that social psychologists have done and that people like me have done in my work with emotionally focused couples therapy. Um, the research is really all saying the same thing. The essential element of a healthy marriage is not that you don't fight, all couples fight. Okay? It's not that you have to be completely similar in all kinds of respects. All couples have differences. The essential element of a healthy marriage is emotional responsiveness. Houston, in his research, looked at newlywed couples and then he looked at them five years later. And it was the emotional responsiveness between those couples that made the difference between the couples who were healthy together and the couples who weren't. Emotional responsiveness means that you have enough trust and emotional connection between the two of you. That you trust each other enough that even though you fight and you have differences, you know how to turn towards each other, reach for each other when it really matters. You have what we would call secure attachment. And what I see in the couples therapy I do and that we have 25 years of research on is that Basically what we do is we take distressed couples, we help them understand where they get stuck in very negative patterns, and then we help them learn how to reach for each other and create this emotional responsiveness, this strong bond, where you know, if you ask people, what's the most basic thing in marriage? People say, well, the most basic question in marriage is, I would say to my partner, are you there for me? Do I matter to you? Am I, am I special? Will you cherish me? You know, will I come first with you? If I need, if I call, will you come? And a healthy marriage is one where the answer to that question is an absolutely unequivocal yes. If you have that sense that you have this safe emotional bond, you can deal with almost anything. We work with people who've had strokes. We work with cancer survivors. We work with vets, we work with people who come back from Iraq. And it is amazing to see how couples can hold each other and support each other and deal with almost anything that comes their way if they have this safe emotional bond. That's what a happy marriage is. And by the way, what we know about that is if you have that kind of marriage, it makes you just astronomically stronger as a person. You feel better about yourself, you're more confident in the world, you're more able to deal with stress, you're more resilient. You, um, there's the, the, and the health benefits of that kind of bond, of that secure bond, are enormous. There's research that says that emotional isolation, for example, um, you're twice as likely to, ha to die from heart attack, to not, not die, to have a heart attack or a stroke if you don't have this kind of secure bond. This sort of secure bond is the way it's wired into our brain as a basic need. This is the way love is supposed to be. So yeah, we do know what a happy marriage is. And the good news is we, don't, we not only know what it is, we know how to make it happen. That's the really good point. We know how to make it happen.